Hi beautiful patrons, Shia here um, in Maui and I wanted to share something that happened to me um, a few days ago that was kind of hilarious I thought actually. Um, so <laughs> I, you know, I'm, a, I'm an avid YouTube listener myself and I have my favorites and I, you know, contribute to their channels and so forth because they do really keep me um, on the up and up and informed as well as, you know, just vibing high because of all the good news that I know that is coming our way in 2022. And um, in one of them, I remember said, right, the next day after it happened was like, you know, they say that like, tight asses don't get laid as often. <laughs> and I, I uh, had to laugh because um, in Maui, you know, I'm one of the regulars at the nude beaches here, which is Little Beach and Secret Beach, and on Sundays in, in particular. And <clears throat> there's a whole community there that I love and enjoy, and it's very therapeutic to be there. And um, on this one day, a friend gave me an edible and said, oh, it's really lightweight, you'll just be mellow. Well, no, <laughs> that wasn't the case. It was a good thing. It was almost like orchestrated by my higher self, I feel like, because I actually had to leave. I was only able to be there for two hours and I had to leave for an appointment to come back home. And it's a good thing I did, that was the case because there's no way I would have been able to drive that like that it like really hit me and so you know I get weekly massage because otherwise I just have like neck stuff that turns into headaches if I don't stay on top of it and so anyway he came <clears throat> to give me my massage and I said I have to let you know that you know I'm really high <laughs> kind of you know feels vulnerable and uh it was really funny he's a newer person that I have um a black man and so anyway I just had to laugh but you know it was a reminder of it was so much more effective of a session because I have it just seems like kind of layers of um, tension that needs to be released and we, we never quite get to all of it and but you know I've managed to just stay on top of it as best I can <clears throat> and you know I work out in different ways and so I'm always like a little sore or whatever um, I do carry around some pretty large breasts so you know that's part of it too and by the way you guys asked if they were they were natural and yes they are they're completely natural which is a, a gift but uh, at any rate <clears throat> you know I, we were able to go so much deeper into the massage experience because I know I noticed I was intentionally like letting go of energetics that was trapped in these tighter spots um, usually you know around my neck shoulders shoulder blades especially right and I was just like, there's no way my body would have been limber enough or soft enough to like move like that or be able to release enough, you know, cause it's sometimes I just feel like I need a jackhammer to, you know, release some of the tension. And anyway, it ended up being like, oh yeah, that's really effective, you know, to like take, it was a reminder like to take more like a microdose, you know, like before a uh, massage to enhance being able to go deeper into the process and but now I'm going to share something more personal which is I was so you know high <laughs> and naturally I'm just a love bug so when I'm like that I I just want to share it with someone you know and I don't want it to go to waste it feels like such a waste if I'm just by myself right so I was like you know I, well, I would like to play and he's like well what does play look like to you and I said it took me a long time to answer because it was hard for me to actually come out with the words of what I wanted it was felt very vulnerable and I said because I don't really know him that well and I just said well you know like touch and kissing and he's like okay we can do that for a little bit <laughs> 
<laughs> and it was just funny because I was telling him, I was like, there's no way I would have done that if I hadn't been, you know, inebriated a little bit where those, all those walls came down. And I was, I knew that he was too proper and gentlemanly to, to bring it up. So I knew I had to, if I wanted to take advantage of that moment of like, Hey, I'm in such a yummy space, you know, let's play a little bit. And <clears throat> I just have to laugh at myself because I think the universe <laughs> designed that so that I would, we could like break down that wall. And he even talked about it too. He's like, yeah, you know, I, you know, we're, we were just both so professional and proper and gentlemanly or ladylike that we wouldn't have brought it up, brought it up. And here we would have never probably connected that way because we were both being just well behaved or whatever. So we kind of mirror each other that way because I'm very professional in my sessions. You know, I'm very much in charge and I run, you know, the whole session and stuff. And so, you know, letting down my guard, you know, isn't always the easiest thing. And, <laughs> and yet, um, you know, I was aware of it was just going to go to waste if I didn't say something. So it was just kind of funny to realize, you know, how, all those different ways that we might be like rigid or kind of programmed or being nice or being gentlemanly or ladylike or, you know, can sometimes hold us back because, you know, I don't know about you, but for me, it's a little bit awkward to try to bridge that conversation. Like I like the man to initiate that. I could tell he wasn't going to cause he's younger. Um, <clears throat> And he was, he's also looking into possibly um, training with me with Tantra as well as he was, you know, my massage guy right now. And so he didn't want to cross those lines. And, um, but it's a good reminder to me like, oh gosh, where else am I missing opportunities because I'm, you know, maybe not speaking up or asking for what I want or something like that. So anyway, I thought that was hilarious. And of course he, being a black man, which many of them are very embodied, it was beautiful. He was very respectful. Even though my body was totally moving so much energy on the massage table, he stayed with it and flowed with it and didn't cross the line or anything. And it wasn't until after that I asked for him to just, you know, hang with me. And it was really sweet. He was very present and, um, you know, had that magic that black people have, male and female. And it was beautiful to be, be able to experience that actually for the first time, because I've never been with someone um, yet until the other day that had that magic black thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I just thought I'd share that because, you know, those of us who come from a religious background or a spiritual background, sometimes we're a little too nice and need to learn how to be naughty. 